Hey guys, so today what we're going to do is just change some settings around in the remote control and the gimbal because the default settings I don't like. It's too fast. So that's what we're doing today. See, let me connect here. This is a 360 video, so feel free to look around. I'm going to go ahead and go this way, but you can still see the drone over there. All right, that for now. All right, let's go ahead and take off. Take off. So there's the drone. Now I already changed some settings around, but let's go ahead and go over what we need to change. So the first setting we're gonna change on this drone is the sensitivity. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to this little drone. We're already there, but click on this and then click on sensitivity. And then for the attitude, that's how sensitive the thumb controllers are, or the joysticks. So at 20%, 20 this is what it's gonna look like. Kinda see how there's a little bit of lag. It's not, it's not as responsive. I'm gonna get lower, right? And that's what I like it. I, don't, I didn't like it at default because it was too fast for me. So let's go ahead and change it to the other side, to 100 and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, enter out. I mean, this thing can go, see how ridiculous. It's more responsive. Move it, it's getting close to me. It's more sensitive, All right? Now for the brakes, how fast do you want it to break, right? So at 100, you can already see it can stop instant stop pretty much but what if you want it a little bit smoother what if you want it to roll off a little bit so let's go ahead and go to 20 percent all right come on now oh 50 50 is the lowest so i'll go to 50 boom exit out now when we stop you see that it takes a minute not a minute for real but it takes a little bit of time for it to completely stop oh i got too close the sensors told me, hey man, I'm about to hit you. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna stop. See when I'm releasing it. All right? Let's crank that up to 200% just to see what that looks like. This is gonna be ridiculous. It's probably gonna be like stopping on the dot. All right, so here we go. 200, here we go. Forward. Oh my God. That's insane, dude. You see that? There's like no delay at that stopping point at all, which is good if you want precision, right? But if you're trying to go for smoothness, probably not a good idea. All right, so we're gonna change that to 50. Five, zero, oh, not five, 50, man. Here we go. Now for the yaw end point, that is just your rotation. You see how sensitive that is, right? So let's go ahead and go to about 50%. It's already at 70, so let's go 50. Kind of see how nicer it is, right? Let's go to the maximum at 250. And like I said, I didn't really didn't like the default. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at this thing. This thing is like turning. You see the difference? I gotta back it off. This is like a freaking robot or a machine or something. But that thing is turning. Now, if you're racing, that's a good thing. If you're trying to get cinematic videos, that's probably not a good idea. So let's go to 50, and we'll go back to that nice, smooth pan. I mean, and if your fingers are really good, you can do smoother pans with it, All right? So that's what that yaw endpoint is, how sensitive it is to your thumbstick. 